Hey guys, so I wanted to work on something a little bit quicker today and that is uh, whenever I navigate from the kitchen table or the front screen in the game to the dungeon, I don't have any notifications anywhere to sort of say whether a daily task is complete. So as you can sort of see in this case here of these three screens that I've captured from uh, Unity, one of the daily tasks have actually been completed. So we've explored 10 of 10 tiles, but there's nothing here that suggests it. So what I wanted to do was quickly concept what that would look like. And I wanted to utilize Figma variants in order to have some motion in these individual static screens. Okay, so what I need first is some sort of notification dot. So I'm gonna go for like the standard thing that we see all the time on uh, our mobile phone. So whether it's a Facebook notification or something like that, uh, you know, like you've received a message or something has changed with the state of the screen. So I'm gonna create this CTA dot. I'm gonna right click on it and do create components. So this is where kind of like the magic happens really. So we've got the CTA there. And then what we want to do is we want to head over to here and create add variants. So now we have two different states for this. So we've got the default one and then we've got variant two. At this point, nothing's going to happen. Um, so what we need to do is we need to head into prototype mode and we need to add interaction. So you can do it this way or you can drag directly from here and connect the dots. That gets a little bit fiddly. So choose whichever way you prefer. Um, so after delay of zero or one millisecond, which is essentially nothing, I want to change to variant two and I want to smart animate. And then from here, I'm going to drag it back. And then after delay here, I'll keep a, yeah, a couple of seconds delay here and the duration will be at 300 there. Right, and now I wanna test this. So I'm gonna head over to my assets. I'm gonna grab this instance of it. And I'm gonna pop this in my scene. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna set up a flow starting point here on the home screen. So the CTA will come over to this screen for now because it'd be easier to test without having to wire up all the others. I'll hit play and then we're going to sort of see. Now nothing's going to happen as we'd expect because these two instances are identical. If I just move that to one side, go into design view and just change it ever so slightly, you'll now see that we've got a little bit of change. So this is kind of like, this is a CTA in a sense of like, you know, look here type of thing, but also it could be utilized for like a tap here. So if you were simulating a prototype and someone was staring at the screen and had no idea what was going on, what they should press next, you can use the same sort of idea to make it look and feel a little bit different. So say for example, if I do this, now that looks like a tap so like a tap here if i set it to zero there we have it like you know that's like tap here look here type of thing so that's that's really cool so i'm just going to place that there so someone's arrived at this screen they have no idea what to do let's roll doesn't resonate with them whatsoever which is completely fine that's kind of a little bit of a, a slang thing you know that i've carried with me since i was a kid but um, on click, so we'll click the entire screen or we can click the button itself. Let's click the, uh, the button itself in this case. So I've got two here actually. So we want to navigate to, and then we want to navigate to dungeon. So when I click that, I hit play. Cool, I'll hit that. And now we're in a different state, which is great. CTA one. Now naming your instances will be important later on because 
what would happen is if you've got things sort of flying about the screen using the Figma animate, then this dot would sort of tween to whatever position it is. And you might not want that. You might just want it to like feel like its own little instance really. So we've done that. And now at this point, we're like, okay, cool. So I want to draw attention to the daily tasks. Maybe something's changed there. On click, do all this. Not really too bothered about the tweening at this point. So I've got my little call to action, tapping it. I've got another call to action. Tap it, I'm in. And then I need to get back out. So getting back out, obviously, really easy. We want to go back to this state. On click. Cool, there we are. And there's your CTA. Now you could do the same thing here as well if you wanted to, so I'll copy that, I'll paste it, and I'll call this CTA3, just so they don't get jumbled up when they're sort of moving around, or when you're navigating between screens. Cool, cool, and cool. Yeah, there you go, claimed it. Wonderful. So really quick, this is something uh, really useful that I've added to prototypes that I've done recently this week. And I wanted to sort of show you how it's possible to sort of easily simulate that motion on the static screens. And the, uh, the big win is obviously utilizing the prefab variants here. And, you know, with a very basic setup, you could essentially get what you want. And um, and obviously, you know, you could change this out. You can turn it into whatever you want. So if you wanted it to be a hand or something like that, then you can, you know, swap this out for whatever that may be. For the example, I'll just quickly show you that if we go to the, the main asset here, we go to say like image, so what I'll use instead is this hand. Yeah, so this is a hand that I created for a the tutorial uh, screenshots for a game that we made called Gumship. So what I'm gonna show you here is how you could like utilize the, like a, a, a different graphic. It doesn't have to be something as, as dry and boring as a uh, sort of a red dot, you know, this is, uh, I, well, as Bob Ross always said, this is your world and you get to do what you want with it. So. Um, so yeah, this gamifies it a little bit, makes it sort of kind of fun. So I'm just going through and I'm just tweaking the uh, the hand here. And I'm just gonna place that there. And then we'll hit play and let's see what happens. <laughs> there you go. So really basic, really straightforward, but you can sort of see if someone's not looked at the screen for a while, there's a little call to action for them. And the same here, tap this and it's kind of cool. And there you go. So that's it guys, that's a really basic one. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please obviously subscribe and get involved in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.